Hey everyone, I'm here to do y'all weekly readings. If you have Pisces anywhere in your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, South Node, Midhaven, these readings could be for you. Remember to listen to your discernment. Okay, when I got done shuffling everything for you Pisces, I got the High Priestess. So something regarding your discernment and your intuition, okay? Behind the High Priestess is the Eight of Swords. So for some of you Pisces out there, y'all are feeling like y'all intuition and y'all discernment is blocked. Or it's about to get blocked. Or you're feeling like someone is doing something to your intuition and your discernment. Okay, the three of swords, and yes, they are, okay? You are feeling heartbroken, sad, and betrayed by this. Okay, the knight of swords, okay? You about to find this out this week, okay? Woo! Can I get three advice cards for the Pisces this week? Okay. One more, please. Okay? You got one major, you have the wall, the four ones and the nine of ones. Okay, so one major event is going on is that cycles in your life will be closing and new beginnings will be starting. So for some of y'all, um, yes, you be you will be getting a new beginning. Something from your past done ended. Now you about to get a new beginning with your foundation and your happiness or with a lover. But you are on guard about it or you are feeling paranoid about this that is about to happen in the near future or now, okay? Or someone, or, or if you are about to get in a new foundation with your happiness or start a new partnership, you are feeling like something, you're going to feel paranoid about something in the near future, Okay. We got the high priest. It's something regarding your intuition and your discernment, okay? Or this is how this person is feeling about your intuition and your discernment, okay? What's the wall talking about for Pisces? A completion, a new beginning of the wall, okay? We have the five of ones, okay? So, yes, um, you could be dealing with a Leo, um, a Leo is struggling on how to close a cycle in your life or you doing this to a Leo, okay? Or someone is competing with a new beginning. So maybe five individuals from your past is trying to compete with you so they can get a new beginning before you, okay? I hope that made sense. We got the sun, okay? But this week, good things are about to happen to you, Pisces, okay? Better things is a, is ahead of you in, in, the, in, the, in this week. Starting this week, you won't see better days, okay? Brighter days, okay? Or you will be seeing someone very soon, okay? Could be a little boy, a little baby, or you about to meet a baby, something like that. Um, what's the four, I'm about to say, what's the four ones talking about for Pisces? Okay, we got the high priestess, okay? So something from so something this week you know is coming, okay? You know someone is about to come to your house this week. You know that someone will be surprising you. You know you about to you know you know something when it comes to your happiness this week. You know something already. Okay? When it comes to your happiness or your foundation, you know something, okay? You done already got enlightenment to this. Okay, we got the sun. Yes, some better days is ahead of you by brighter days. Then we got the eight of swords, okay? Feeling stuck, crapped, or bound, or someone else, or you're going to feel like this. You're going to feel like you're going to be stuck in life, or you're going to feel bound, or someone else, okay? Somebody else this week will feel like this when they see something this week or something like that. What's the nine of ones talking about for Pisces? It's underneath the wall. We got the six of swords in reverse, okay? So, in the near future, Pisces, if you are feeling paranoid and on guard about something, it's not going to move forward, okay? You don't have to continue You don't have to continue feeling on guard about something or feeling wounded about something or feeling paranoid about something. Something bad is not going to happen this week or in the near future. Got the eight of swords, okay? Something regarding jail or craft or feeling stuck. 
We got the Six of Cups, someone from your past or something from your past or someone from your past is trying to come towards you, but you are not going to move forward with the with this person from the past. I hope that made sense. What's the outcome to this reading for Pisces? The Wall and the Five of Wands. Okay. We got the Seven of Pentacles waiting, okay? So, in the past, you could have been waiting for something. You could be waiting, or in the past, you could have waited for your struggles to end, and it's finally ending. You will begin a new beginning. Or for some of you others, someone is just waiting to start conflict in your life this week, okay? Just for no reason, okay? No apparent reason. Just want to do it. Six of Cups could be someone from your past. We have the star, but you will be healing from this. You will continue pushing forward, or it could be someone in the spotlight that's doing this, or it could be you just healing from waiting on something in your life. Behind that is the two of cups, or this partnership will be healing you, or this partnership will, I don't know. What's the outcome to this reading for Pisces? Four ones and the high priestess. We got the emperor in reverse, okay? A lot of chaos is going on around your intuition or a lot of chaos is going on around your damn foundation and your happiness, okay? Basically what it is, we got the star, cause they don't, they do, somebody do not want you to heal, okay? That is your card, Pisces. The high priestess is your card, okay? We got, and this your card too, Pisces, the ten of cups. Something regarding happiness. Some, yes, Pisces, some do not want you to be happy, okay? this week okay i don't know what the hell is going on this week for you but someone do not want you to be in peace or be happy what's the outcome for pisces nine of ones and the six of swords in reverse they fell on the seven of pentacles in the wall we got the ten of ones in reverse okay letting go of baggage okay somebody is letting go of baggage they don't want to go back to this person okay or someone is afraid of your intuition, okay? Look how, see? The nine of ones is afraid of the high priestess. So someone is afraid of the high, someone is afraid of your intuition, of your discernment. They are just afraid of you. They don't want someone to move forward to you because they are afraid of your intuition. They feel like you scared them with the things you know or with the things that, or they were afraid of the hidden knowledge in this world, okay? They don't want someone to move forward to you. And this person might not, okay? Ten of Cups, okay? Or the family don't want this person to move forward to you. We got the chariot, okay? Moving forward. Okay, could be dealing with a Cancerian. Or this person is still going to move forward to you. Whether whoever trying to tell him not to or trying to tell her not to, this person is still going to, fin this person is still going to move forward, okay? The moon. Something is hidden. Something is going on behind the scenes that you do not know about. Okay? You are blind at this shit right now. Okay? This person trying to keep this hidden or whoever, man. Give me extra advice for the um, Pisces. We got so the Seven of Pentacles. We got glamour, intrigue, drama. Yeah, somebody is just waiting for some drama to go down. Okay? Or some shit like that. We got a tempting offer, have a high price, and clean up time, okay? What would be healing in this reading for Pisces? Uh, from the Emperor in Reverse, we got to discover your life purpose, okay? Someone feel like this person, somebody feels like you don't, whoever, man. Somebody feels like this, someone feels like this Emperor shouldn't be with you because this person feel like y'all, Y'all got two different life purposes in life, okay? This person, this emperor in reverse uh, purpose is different from the damn high priestess purpose, okay? We got hole in the soul and cycles. Okay, give me love messages for Pisces. It was in reverse. We got keys on a ring in reverse, okay? Something is not going to be a one-night stand if you asking or... Someone is not ready to make a decision yet. Self-indulgence and addiction and photograph. Okay, somebody's addicted to seeing your photos or whatever, man. Give me a cautious message for the Pisces. Okay, we got solar places and solar places chakra. Someone is trying to stop your willpower or someone trying to stop your confidence in life. Okay, we got celebrate life 
a day's end rest in the healer. Positive message to end this reading for Pisces. Okay, we have sensitive emotions. Okay, somebody got a lot of emotion going on. Somebody very sensitive to emotions. We got bless your hearts and unnecessary worries. Okay, so I hope you Pisces enjoy this reading. Stay blessed.